Hi everyone, happy Friday, happy Valentine's Day. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Donner's Opter Optic Basketball Blasters. We found some. 10 box half case blaster. Random team break number one. jazbeescasebreaks.com Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. You're not even in this break, Darren. Oh, you are. I'm sorry, I see you. Um, and all the teams are in. Randy, that drops on the 26th, which is probably why it's moving slow. The last Wednesday of February. All right, now one spot gets you two teams. you got to read the item description, buddy. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double up that list. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a four, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, Steven down to Quinton. Michael Blunt, that's exactly the correct notification for today. All right, one and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. I think Augustus got the same notification too. Milwaukee Bucks down to the Rockets. All right, Stephen A., who is, I guess, the head of this, uh, head of one of the celebrity game teams. Stephen A. with the Bucks, Sean with the Grizz, David with the Clippers, Adam Kelly with the Thunder, Sean with the Mavs, Darren with the Suns, Josh with the Bulls, Mike with the Knicks, Adam with the Jazz, Diane with the Kings, Darren with the Spurs, Adam with the Hawks, Sixers, and Warriors. Douglas with the Blazers, Quentin with the Wizards, Douglas with the Heat. Josh, you got the Pelicans. Douglas with the Nuggets. Mike Tower, you got my Lakers. Adam with the Magic. Douglas with the Raptors and Brooklyn Nets. Last spot, Mojo Stars next to your name. Matthew with the T-Wolves. Cavs for Stephen A. Matthew with the Hornets. David B. with the Celtics. Uh, David B. with the Seas. Diane with the Pacers. Douglas with the Pistons. And Quinton with the Rockets. Trades are allowed, ladies and gentlemen. But trade at your own risk. You know who the rookies are in this draft class. So just keep that in mind. I'm sure there's unique parallels in this blaster edition here. Now, while you're considering trades, what's up, G-Force? What's going on? Let's open up this fresh case and see which half we're going to do. So there it is, Donner's Optic Basketball Blaster Edition. 20 boxes per case. Much smaller box. We're going to see which 10 we're going to do here. And in fact, um, if you look at the schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, the second half is going to be coming up right after this one. It's sold out right afterwards. And then we'll do those other breaks on the site right there, too. Oh, this is poor. This is very poor. Very sloppy. It's hoping for a cleaner. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's slide this one back. All right. There we go. As you can see on the top cam right there, me fumbling around with these boxes here. So there are two, four, six, eight, ten in this row right here. Two, four, six, eight, ten in the back right over there. We're gonna roll the die. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. We'll use the Zion blue right there. All right. And it's gonna be two. So we're gonna do this side right here. This side we're gonna save for next time. I'm just gonna put this on my couch right over here. Right on the old sofa. So we'll set those right there. Those are on camera. Those will be for break number two, which is coming up right after this. All right, any trades? Does not look like there's any trades. All right, so it looks like no trades. So trade window closed. T 
TWC, let's print, let's rip. Print, print. Who has the better celebrity? We're watching the celebrity game and then we're watching Rising Stars game and whatnot. Who's got... Anyone got in, is picking a side on the celebrity game here? Are these fun? I don't think I've watched one in years. Um, there it is. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody, on the 14th. 10 box, half blaster, random team one. 2019-2020, Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. i got to put the 20 in there. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up kind of five boxes at a time here. Let's just pull out the packs first, and then we'll rock through those. So we're looking at uh, Blaster Exclusive Rated Rookie Signature Checkerboard. All right, number to one. I guess this is going to be hard to find, but let's see if we can find those. Good luck. It's a non sequitur, Sean, but all right. It's a little early for, early for that, isn't it? It's a family show. Blue Velocity should be in here too. All right, that's what Blackout is saying. I think you can get autos in this, but I don't think they're as common as the hobby boxes since it's just a blaster edition. I would think that in a case, what do you think, folks? Maybe a few autographs, handful of autographs in the entire case? Oh, no, maybe the mega box has? I don't know. They have so many different versions of this. I'm not entirely sure either. Fire department coming by. It looks like they're anticipating the fire that we're about to pull in Blaster Half Case Number One from JaskiesCaseBreaks.com. They sold out pretty quickly too, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of a. I know the hobby version. I mean, all of these versions are are, are pretty expensive this season because of. Uh, well, they didn't print a lot, man. The Zion effect among and John Morant too, Rui Hachimura. There's a great rookie class as well. So, so this has gotten a little pr on the pricier side, but the blasters could be a little more price friendly way to try to get into the hoops action. Again, like like Darren also said, you know, listen, we don't have. There's not a lot of uh, autographs in here, boys and girls. So that's the trade off for the price. There still could be some great parallels here as well. All right, so the first five boxes in this 10-box break. All right. 
Good luck. We got Jay Crowder. So this is that a blue parallel right here. Not numbered, but of course it will ship. Along with all the rated rookies and all the hollows like this, etc., etc. Obviously, all these inserts will ship. All rated rookies will ship. Probably just veteran commons that aren't going to ship out of here. Like that, and that, and that. But that is a hollow, so it will ship. There's Clint Capella. There's Lou Williams. If we find a Zion out of here, this would be pretty huge. There's Mufondu Cabanelli and a Kobe White rated rookie. Uh, this is probably box three by now. I opened up all five at once, Ken. Oh, there's a Zion. That's pretty nice. And that LeBron is numbered. All right, so there's LeBron James to 149. Still Cavs edition on this one. That'll be for Stephen A. Schedule's in the chat, Kenton. And Zion, who got randomized the Pelicans in this one. This will cover the spot, Josh Pruce. And then some, probably. Brandon Ingram. Romeo Langford, blue. John Morant, my house, insert. It's his house. John Morant could be, what, Rising Stars MVP tonight? I think he was one of the more favored ones, according to certain books. Let's save a Hachimura as well for Quinton. Those would ship anyway. There's My House, Hollow, LeBron James, Lakers edition. There's Kendrick Nunn, who's got Nunn name on it, which actually has kind of boosted his value a little bit. That'll go to the Miami Heat. That'll be for Douglas. Anyone have any thoughts on who the Rising Stars game MVP is going to be? I took a shot at some long shots. For it. I'll share that in a second. Once I finish off that stack. That'll go to the Lakers. Mike Tower with the Lakers. Brandon Clark, rated rookie hollow. Enos Cantor. I think these parallels are seem to be exclusive to this set, I think. these over here. Zion's first 10 games all on minutes restrictions. 8 times over 20 points, 2 over 30. How are we feeling? I'm feeling pretty good about Zion's production. I think in terms of the hobby, I think there was a lot of concerns, not only about his injuries, Sean and everyone, but but like, hey, is he going to deliver the is he going to deliver the points? Is he going to deliver the production? And it seems like he is. And I saw some things earlier where where he not only is just a, you know, is a good physical player, like he, all his basketball IQ is also pretty high. He's got a good personality too, so I think that, uh, you know, I think that all adds up to be hashtag good for the hobby. Now, if he averages 30, over 30 a game from here on out, I think he might be able to challenge Ja Morant for the rookie of the year. Might be the only way, I think. Which is a difficult task, but I think that's what he'd have to do. And John Morant, still still the favorite just because he's, he's, uh, 
not miss as many games as Zion has. All right, so Frank's thinking Kobe White for the uh, for the Rising Stars MVP. Michael Porter says Sean Blackout would like that because he loaded up on some Michael Porters. Dave Larson thinks uh, what Eric Pascal. Here's how I th I went with uh, I went with possibly Shea Gilgis Alexander. I took some long, really long shots. Went with uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander, twelve to one. Jaron Jackson Jr. fourteen to one. Devonte Graham twenty to one. These are all real big long shots. Nikhil Alexander Walker at forty to one. I figure. I don't think DeAndre Ayton is playing. In, for the uh, international team. I think Luka Doncic is a little hobbled, right? By a little... He's still coming back from that ankle injury. Um, so there's that. So it may be Nikhil Alexander-Walker goes nuts because he's got opportunity. He's got possibilities right here. Yeah, it's probably going to be Zion or Ja as the MVP, right? Yeah, it'll probably be one of those two guys, but, but I don't know. I could see SGA going off. 12-1, to 1, that's not bad. I think Zion was like, was like 2-1 to 1 or something like that. I think Jaw was like 3-1, to 1, so they were, they were, they were, they were the, they were certainly the favorites. I went with some some longer shots, more for value. More more as value plays as opposed to that's what I actually think is going to happen. I got some uh, Saturday night picks for you too. I'm going again longer shots. I'm not going really going with favorites intentionally. Um, three point contest, Buddy Heel. About seven and a half to one, plus seven fifty. Going skills contest, DeMontis Sabonis at 8 to 1, plus 800. And I got two picks for the dunk contest. I got Dwight Howard at plus 500. And uh, Derek Jones Jr. at plus 175. It's Derek Jones Jr.'s birthday tomorrow during the dunk contest. I think maybe a birthday cake prop. Dwight Howard for nostalgia, Dave Larson. I think either it's nostalgia that wins out with Dwight Howard or it's Derek Jones Jr., his birthday. Tomorrow night, dunk contest night. Ooh, what's that right there? Is that the checkerboard? So if Derek Jones Jr. busts out a out a uh, <laughs> birthday cake prop, I could see that. Maybe that's why he's plus one seventy five. That's like one point seven five to one. Um, who's from? Uh, why did I? Pick? I think I picked. I think I wanted to pick someone else for. Is it Derek Jones Jr.'s birthday? Yeah, it is his birthday. And you just got to pick like, and who's from Chicago? There, there, there must be a kid or two from Chicago. You got to pick. You got to pick that that player for for something. That's a pretty cool insert right there. This little ship. I kind of like this. There's Nikhil Alexander Walker, plus four thousand, plus four thousand, forty to one. Rising Stars MVP. Let's go. He looked good in summer league. Just balls out. He might have some minutes. 
We got Mariel Shyock for the Sixers. Signature Series autograph. That'll go to Adam Kelly in the 76ers. Sean Corbett saying earlier that Zion's going to mess around and get 50. You know, you know the uh, Pelicans coach, Gentry, is calling whoever's running that world team going like, please, God, just 10 minutes for Zion. Please, God, <laughs> don't play Zion. There's Carl Anthony Towns. It's a blue, different parallel there. DeAndre Jordan, Chris Middleton, and Luke Walton, 20 out of 25 signature series. <laughs> it's a good question, Jimmy. My professional opinion, were the most difficult, annoying packs to open? Um... That's a very good question. I gotta say, there are some. Uh, there are some upper deck packs that are really thin, and so they just kind of fall apart in your hands when you're trying to pull them. Those have been pretty annoying. I know each product. Yeah. What well, What was that product, Sean? They had good stuff and it's just the packs are just really annoying. But it changes every year because sometimes they use different they use like a different glue or, or a different material sometimes in different years. So there could be a year of optic where it's just like it'll just fall apart in your hands. Yeah, those are the those are the annoying ones. And it could be it could be a different set every year too. Just depends on whatever that production process was in that particular time. I know Topps has had some annoying packs. We had some, some yeah, lower end hockey tends to have some annoying packs. Um, but but every every company has ha has have their share over the years of of just packs that just fall apart in your hands. Another autograph, that Bob Danrich. I think I said, what, per case, we usually see two, three autos. But as Darren cautions, yeah, I mean, sometimes you can see a case with none. But to see three autos in the first half is pretty unique, I think. Bucks, Stephen A. with that. And we got DeAndre Ayton. Nice. It's the checkerboard pattern. Didn't they say it could be, I guess they could be number to one? Oh, rated rookie signature checkerboards could be. All right, all right, all right. This is just a regular checkerboard, I guess. Yeah, that's on the schedule, Sergeant Squid. Sorry, I should be dropping that frequently. There it is. But I guess if it's, if it's rated rookie and a signature, it could be a one of one. Do I see another one down there? This will save an RJ Barrett. Josh Richardson. Lou Williams. Oh, not a checkerboard. Thought it was for a second. Steph Curry and Wizards edition of Isaiah Thomas at the very end. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a, a half blaster case, random team one of 2019-2020 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. We do have hobby editions in the store as well, so check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break all of those with you next time. Bye-bye.